In this video, we're going to focus on more geometry shapes in 3JS, and this is a part of the 3JS tutorial. So we've already created a circle and we created a square, but I'm sure that you might want to know a few more before I even continue on. So let's look here. If you go down here on the documentation, let's look for geometry here. And in geometry, there's still so many more, and let's try some more. Let's create a cone. So a cone is a more 3D, 3D shape where it's basically a, a pointy top and a circular bottom, bottom or body, as you can see here. So let's grab this one here. You can see here, because it's 3D, it requires the same structure as a cube, where you have the X, Y, and Z values. So basically, we can just copy this. I'm going to copy this for now. And in here, we're going to put in some extras. So we say of this, we have this here, a cone geometry. And of course, we have to say here, geometry number three, comma. I'm going to grab this one here. But what I do want to, I want to reduce this here, but we are just almost exactly on the same location. I don't want that. So we say this, and probably I'll just comment out this one for now. And then we say here again, constant. We say material is number three equals new three dot mesh basic material. Oh, sorry mesh basic material and the mesh basic material we we'll give it another color as well so it's a color here is an object or uh there there you are we have the object with the value so we say here we can make this red or let's say here dark red if i'm not mistaken that should be a nice value as well that's easy to spot all right so we have this one here color make sure you type that correctly then we say a constant, and then this will be a cone. Constant cone equals new. And of course, we have the tree dot mesh. Remember, mesh is always consists of two. We can just copy here this almost, but geometry. Let's grab this one here, there, comma, and material is this. All right, semicolon here, save this. And then we say, of course, here, add it to the scene. So add this item, which is our cone to the scene or maybe in the container basically if i save this and just put it in enter all right go back here and refresh you can see here now what's happening is we have this massive cone and of course remember the massive cone is because of these values here so let's see how this works so probably here we have this one let's make this five there we are so it now reduces itself i think here to solve this one we can do here zoom out to 15 all right that looks more better more visible and then here this eventually defines the so-called spike so if i make this only three what happens you get a triangle as you can see here let's zoom in a bit more but i will make this five and i want to make this here on three all right so you can see here the height here is only three and the five we're zoomed out of five so we should be able to see everything within the five cubicle pixels I guess so in here this is this tree that you can three items here, so three lines so the depth is three if we increase this let's say to six you will see now it becomes a uh, six cornered item uh, I guess a, uh, a hex hexa square if I'm not mistaken or a, something like that. I'm not sure that's the right term but let's put it on 20 if you have 20 here they probably become far more circular because you can see here more items all right so that's one of them so let's look at something else a cylinder is almost similar to the cone the only thing is it's like round up to bottom let's get something uh well let's see what's this a plane or else we can also have the ring it's also really nice or torus which is very similar all right so we have this one here plane or oh, this is less basic so let's get here the torus the torus is a nice one so this is a far more complicated structure of course you can see here how we have this so this is almost a four level here let's grab this one here and let's see what this all does so if we go in here we put in this here just put it in here i'll just make it for simplicity's sake i'm just going to grab that one here tier three and then here this is not a cone this is our torus which is a nice ring all right grab this as well and we save this and once we save this here refresh oh and of course now in this case torus is beyond this so i say here this will be one if i save this 
you can see oh let's double check what's going on here let's zoom out here with 15. all right so we have this here we can see here what we have more let's put this on five and let's make this on five save that there we are five squares and right now the torus is almost like a spare probably because it doesn't have any any mis uh, hole inside so it's supposed to be a ring so let's look at this here all right so you can see here what it really is so we we have here the radius of the tube default is 0 0.4 then we have 8 6 and then let's get the default value first because what we want to do is eventually see the torus in here all right so we got this here but i realized that we have also our block and the cube is here blocking it. So I'm going to remove all of the items here. Let's make this here torus. Grab that put it in here. Save this. All right, so now we have it. All right, so now we have it here. You can see here we have the torus, but this is not really a real torus. So let's add up here some values to make it more circular. So to do this, you can check here again. The, tur the tabular segment is six, all right? And then the radial segment is 8, so I will just grab this one. The one that is 6 is here, and I'm going to just later on remove this, because we don't know here exactly what are the real values. I'm going to remove this one. I don't know what this will be, but I want to make this 20. So we have like a circular, and then of course, this should be 1. All right. So now we have it. It's more, a bit more circular, but there's still missing values here. What about if I do this 5? All right, so once you have a big one here, I guess the thickness here right now is far beyond. So we can maybe adjust that to one. There we are. So that looks slightly better. Here we have the 20 and the 20 and you have the 6. So let's make this here 100. There we are. So now we have the circular. This is 100. And the item here, basically here, the zoom in. This is five because we are here on 15 now. If I go back here, maybe I can make this now back to five because we have reduced the thickness to basically the height, I guess. That would be the right term for it. Does it really work? I'm afraid it does not work. We need to just put this back. And there we are. So this is probably really requested. However, with this, you create a nice torus. And with this, you have like a, a ring shape here. And most important one here. So, th so probably there's still a lot more. And I will dive in these step by step later on probably to figure out. But what would be more interesting is eventually adding up uh, deeper items in here. And later on how to combine them and creating some more uh, additional items.